Yo, what's good, man? So, you know, it's five something in the morning. I got like an hour before my live trading. Make sure y'all get in the live trading. If you ain't in there, we be going up, man. We get into this money. So, I'm actually on EUR AUD. All right. I'm over here on the H1, marking up a zone. Usually I do M15, but the you can see right here that this whole uh, situation right here is a little weird. So, I had to go to the H1 to see the, the zone uh, that it was hitting. Now, usually, like, Right here, I will usually use a horizontal line, but lately I've just been kind of using these and then using the horizontal lines later. But however you want to do it, it's completely up to you. All right. But you want to mark your zones. A lot of people was confused about zones. Uh, they was confused about zones and stuff, and I was trying to tell them, look, any point that touch and turn around. So honestly, the best way to look at zones is if you had a zigzag indicator on there, any point, every point is a zone. All right. And then the ones that don't have a point, like right here, that, that dropped, stopped right here and turned around, that's still another zone. So you want to make sure you mark those as well. All right. And so top-down analysis is basically going from a higher time frame down to a lower one. You know, we've been doing that kind of stuff for years, y'all. So uh, this right here is just second nature to me. But if it's not to you, then, you know, just practice around in the demo until you get it. It makes trading so much simpler and easier. Uh, boom. So that's decent. So I'm gonna go down here to the M1 now. And so now I got my two uh high time frame zones. All right. So normally I'm just looking for the stochastic to be low or high. If it's low, I'm trying to buy. If it's high, I'm trying to sell. And then I'm trying to go to the next zone. That that's kind of how you can find out where the market is going when you mark your zones up properly you know what i'm saying so that's what i'm doing now i'm just catching a point that touch here turned around that's my zone i'm doing the same thing over here on these and i'm just uh separating them by color so i kind of know which one is the m1 zones which one is like the m m15 or h1 uh zone then i mark this one right here because we touched and turned around all right so now i know the market is actually in this zone all right and it's it's looking to you know Head back in the direction. One thing I didn't look at was to see on the N15. Okay, so on the N15, the candles are below this 200 moving average. So it's technically still a downtrend, but getting ready to go up because of the stochastic. So one thing I like to do, again, four entry rule. Start out at two minutes. I'm going to do a $50 trade. And we're going to buy. The reason why I'm buying on this particular pair is because we're already at a heavy uh, zone based off the H1. And so my belief is that we will bounce eventually again and come up. Now, one thing I want to say is that usually the best entry is down here at the bottom. Usually if I don't get down here at the bottom, I don't place trades. But just to show you that you can still place trades outside of that uh, using basic support and resistance. Now, that's kind of what I'm doing right now. So this will be considered a late entry because normally the best entry, like I said, is down here at the bottom so you can catch the rise. But you could also use, you know, basic support and resistance to get your entries as well. So always keep that in mind whenever you're trading, you know. And uh, the more you do it, the better you get at it. So another thing I wanted y'all to notice is that this Keltner channel, which is this blue shadow here, this Keltner channel has been, all the candles have been sticking to the bottom of it. They haven't broke through all the way and came up here yet. So that is something I, I can look at to see, hey, well, we might bounce here again and drop, you know, and then go up later. So as you can see, this whole pattern has just been down under this Keltner channel right here. And it's been, a, been like that a long time. Now, it could finally be exhausted. You know, it could finally be exhausted and want to go ahead and break through. But this is a tough zone for it to break because it has not broke it yet. And, and you know, form candles up here. So could could I finally be catching a breakout? I could. So let's see. If not, then, you know, we're going to see what we're going to do. See what we're going to do, y'all. But it looks like the first trade is not successful. So do I want to stay on this pair or do I want to go to a new one? I'm going to let that marinate, let it do its thing. All right. So I'm going to say that one, get that OTC up off of there. Uh, if you are trading OTC, 
you know, you got to mark it up real good for it to make sense. Just to let you know, you got to mark that thing up real good for it to make sense. All right? Because uh, if you don't, you ain't going to know what it's doing. All right, let me look at this pair as well. And I still might catch the other one. So I'm going to save this one as well. Boom. That's 88. This one, let me see. Did I already mark this up? Yep. For the most part. I didn't mark that top half, but... I marked it up for the most part on a higher time frame. So I'm just going to the left right now to see if I can find out the next zone that it's heading to. I can't find it on there, so I got to go to the H1 to find out. Uh, let me see. Boom. Okay. So now I see where the zone is right now. So I don't know if y'all can see that little line, that little faint line that's pushing. That's where the market is currently, so I know it's another little zone right there. So I'm going to put this at the top of it. And see if there's anything else to the left. Okay, I do see it goes up here a little bit. Boom. So I'm going to change the color of these to like this pink color. Just so I can kind of have a reference of where I'm at. But yeah, that's all it is. Just patience and marking the chart up. You know what I'm saying? These is going to give you the best and accurate uh, readings whenever you're on the chart. Okay. So this one just bounced again. I feel like this one will break out eventually, but just don't know when yet. It's taking this precious little time. Precious time. I need to see one more thing on this one real quick. Yeah, so we in all this zone right here. All this is a bounce. All this whole thing is just bounce, bounce, bounce. Now, it has pushed through a little bit, but then rejected and came right back up. So this definitely is giving me buy opportunities. I think it's just going to take a while, y'all. I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do a $100 trade on this one and see if we can get that for three minutes. And if if not, cool. But we're going we're gonna to come over here next. Uh, What I'm looking for here. I see a potential bounce right here, a sale. All right, stochastic is getting pretty high. So we look like we're getting exhausted. So I will be looking for a sale between now and here. If it passes here, my second entry will be somewhere up in here closer to the, the next zone. Let me see if we decided to finally move a little bit. Yeah, we're kind of moving. But yeah, the, the more you mark the zones up, the, the more confidence you get. Uh, in it, I don't want to press. Let me, yeah, I was about to say, let me not press nothing too much for it. Mr. Ryan hit me with a double up and it get ugly, but yeah, that the what I do is I just I basically just place mine at the zones, you know what I'm saying? My entries, um, yeah, if you place them more so at the zones, you'll have a better and accurate reading on uh, if you sell or not. So if I sold here for the first one, I should get a bounce, okay, it pushed through. So now, how far is that that other zone away from this one? That's a pretty far ways, but this candle is very, very bullish. So, but we exhausted though too. So I feel like it, we want to come down here in a little bit. So just to give me a little tester on this one, see if I was gonna be right or not. I'm gonna hit him with a three minute sell. This one's still gonna play around, ain't it? Yes, yeah, sir. So this one right here, y'all, is really low key a dud because it just, it's still just, still ain't want to break this right here. It's still bouncing in these same areas and trying to drop every time. So you notice the pattern. The pattern it's been doing works. You know what I'm saying? So this one will turn around. This is gonna probably turn around later. We could turn around now, but. It, the way is the way it's going. It look like he want to turn around later. You know. But when it finally break out, what it's gonna do is gonna probably break out, come retest, and then finally decide to break out. But according to this pattern, it hasn't broke these zones right here because it's touching here. It rejected, rejected, came here, rejected. So. We gonna see. I only got twenty some seconds on this. You know, it don't add like oh, okay. There you go. I'm trying to push up a little bit. Let's see if it can hold out for fourteen seconds. It's gonna be tough though. 
Five, four. We might be all right. Let's retrace hard. Two, one. Got one. Got the other one. All right, so we did. We got those. Cool. It might decide it finally want to break out now. So let's keep that in mind. And then this one. Let's see if I was correct. So far, I was correct on this one. But again, on this one, y'all, notice on the Keltner channel, uh, we could come down to about the middle, which is where the zone is at, and then turn around potentially, uh, based off of what it's done before. So if you look at this Keltner channel, you can see the candle stick at the top of it, come through the middle just a little bit, but for the most part, we at the top. So this could be a short-term drop, bounce, and then go back up, which, yeah, it look like that's what it's trying to do. <laughs> it look like it's what it's trying to do. So... If I would have did a two-minute uh, sale, I would have been good on this. But I'm glad I only did, you know, $5. So, so far, so good. You know what I'm saying? This is the one I did this morning before I got on here. Y'all see, I sold. I'm still trying to sell on it. But it ain't giving me the full drop yet. So, ain't giving your boy the full drop yet. I mean, the full drop is coming, though. But when it's pushing like that, now I'm looking for the next zone that it's going to potentially hit. And that's what I'm looking for, the next bounce. So this up here, potentially the next zone, but that looks kind of far away. So I need to find one, see if I can find one closer, which, yeah, somewhere in the middle here. I mean, it's, it's kind of, uh, I see something. I see a little something right here. Hold on. Boom. I see a candle that is close to. Boom. So I'm going to put that in the middle. Then I'm going to go back to the eight, I mean the M1 so y'all can see where I put it. Right here. So I saw a candle with a rejection. So now I know potentially my second entry could be here. Then third entry at this next zone if it continues to shoot up. Uh, and we'll do it like that. So it's just it's just trading one on one. This this is just patience and letting it letting it do its thing. Let me see if this finally broke out. Nope, did not. So we got blessed on that last one. <laughs> this one did not want to fully break out. It gave us a push, a push up, kind of about right here, literally right here at this zone. Matter of fact, look, boom, hit the same zone and dropped again. So it didn't want to fully break out yet. So if you notice, the market just respecting all the zones. And then this one, again, I'm going to go ahead and do my, uh, I'm going to do about 25. But it ain't quite hit this zone yet. It look like it want to fake me out. So I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait on this one just a little bit, and I'm going to go find something else. Uh, let me go with, uh, I'm going to go GBP CAD. Nah, that ain't looking like nothing. That one ain't looking like nothing. This one looking like something. We looking like we can get a potential drop. I already see rejection over here. I'm going to do a quick M1 zone right here. Boom. And I'm going to go ahead and from here, I'm going to go ahead and go up and see what's going on. It's like it's still got a little bit more room to go up, but not much. Let me see. Oh, you already had this marked up from probably last week. I just needed to stretch that on over. I actually can make that a little thinner. Hold on. But, yeah, y'all, trading is just patience, man. Just marking your stuff up properly and being patient. To the market give you what it need to give you, and then you take the trade. And like I told people before, as I always say, hesitation. I mean, hesitation can be good because, like I said, sometimes you hesitate and the trade was wrong. Sometimes you hesitate. A lot of times you hesitate and the trade be right, so you be missing out on your money. But... At least you didn't lose. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So don't don't trip if you hesitate a little bit and don't get the trade. At least you didn't lose it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, this one potentially has more room to grow, to bounce here. So I need to save this one as well. So this is how I be saving my trade. Boom. All right, so this one ain't want to go up yet. This one playing. And this one has not fully dropped yet. Could have got like a one minute trade out of this one, but this one is slowly just taking this little time. So we kind of just waiting around, seeing who's going to give us the setups we deserve. I feel like this one still wants to push up based off this, this zigzag ain't complete yet to me. It just don't look like it. Could be wrong, 
but I feel like they need to be more towards the middle, like the rest of these. You see how they right directly in the middle? This one kind of over here to the left, so I feel like they need to push up a little bit more and then drop. So I could take a buy on this one. I'm going to take a three-minute buy on this one to see if I'm correct. Only because I feel like it still want to push to the zone, but I could be wrong again. So I'm going to keep that in mind. Three-minute buy on this one based off what I'm seeing. Uh, let's see. This one's still trying to sell. We still at this rejection zone right here. So this is going to be a tough zone to break if it decides to break. Or somewhere in here it's going to bounce and go back up. I just know it will. Somewhere in there it's going to bounce and go back up. I'm curious to see if this one actually do what I think. Because we got rejection in here. So I, I'll put more rejections on so y'all can see. All right, I'm putting this one here because we touched and turned around. So this is where it's rejecting currently. And if it goes lower than this zone, then, you know, we got smaller ones under here. So I'll even hit those for you. Boom. All right, so this is how I'm able to read the chart. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, them zones is key. All right? Because even though sometimes, even though the stochastic might say one thing, you know, like the the better you get at trading, the more like seasons you get, and the longer you've been in it, you know, for a while, you can kind of just see other stuff outside of just the the uh, stochastic. You'll be like, okay, I see it's about to hit this zone. It's about to bounce, potentially go up. And now that I can visually, I visually got my zones. I can visually see where the market would turn around. I mean, well, yeah, turn around and go up, or I can visually see where it's going based off of uh, these zones that I set. So they kind of like take profits in the in a sense, and then you could play it off like that. Now this trade might have been too long, but we're gonna see. Cause sometimes three minutes would have been too long, and it'd have been better off being a two minute trade or a one minute trade. But if it might hold out, cause it's still pushing, so we might. But that rejection be coming in strong on these forest pairs, boy. They be coming in strong, strong as you can see. So let's see what happens. This one, okay, so it's setting up for a, a, another potential sale. This is another zone that it could sell at. If not this one, then probably drop by this one. Uh, this one is definitely setting up for a buy now. That's gonna be a, that's gonna be a good looking buy when it finally hit. Thirty seconds. This entry looking good so far, man. As long as we don't retrace too hard, we should be good on this. Yes, sir. I'm telling y'all, them zones is key, y'all. Master them zones. Play around with it. You're going to be all right. That was the perfect market structure, too. And I'm going to tell you, as soon as this candle close out, four, three, two, one. Get my money. Yes, yeah, sir. All right. So, as you can see, the market came up, did a pullback retest at the zone, shot straight back up. That's like perfect market structure right there. You can't get no better than that. That's perfect. I ain't gonna get no more trades because this video long and I gotta get ready to get on these Zoom calls with my, my team. But if you're not um, in this live trading group, you need to get in there because we you know we do this together. See, I can be able to take the same trades I'm taking. You know what I'm saying? Other teammates stay in there, you know, calling trades too. You know, we just do it as a, as a unit. You know what I mean? It's just a good feeling, a good environment to be in. Uh, we love trading, you know, news and stuff, too. But, uh, yeah, so that's it for this video, man. Um, Y'all stay blessed, man. Stay prayed up. This world is crazy. It's getting crazy. You feel me? So you got to stay prayed up. I pray blessings over y'all families every day, and I pray y'all get this down so that way you can take care of your family. Uh, but I love y'all, Lord willing. I'll see y'all in another video. Peace.